Right now, I want to welcome to the program uh, from Barrett Farms, Mr. Ronnie Barrett. Ronnie, how you doing, sir? I'm doing great, Cam. Listen, I, I, I ran across this story last week, and I thought, okay, I've got to talk to Ronnie about this. Uh, the mayor of Minneapolis, R.T. Ryback, according to Minnesota Public Radio, has, quote, introduced a way for cities to gain leverage in their efforts to pass stricter gun control laws across the country. He says that he and mayors from approximately 60 cities are taking a closer look at the companies that manufacture the guns and ammunition that cities buy for police officers. Um, He said over the last eight years, the city has spent nearly $800,000 on guns and ammunition. He wants to work with firearms manufacturers to, quote, reduce gun-related crime and violence. And he wants to know if these companies are also lobbying against tighter gun laws. He says, quote, if we find out they're not partners, and if we find out they're working against us, then we all ought to have a conversation as taxpayers about whether our dollars should be used for people who are not working to reduce gun violence. Ronnie, this sounds an awful lot like uh, bullying to me. <laughs> no, it sounds like the 1930s Germany. Uh, and, and, of course, it's going to. This, is, this story is as old as, as Bible when one people want to control the other people. And so all of the same tactics that have been used uh, from uh, in, in our past histories are going to be used again on this. And, and those that fail to study history are just doomed to repeat it again. But uh, that's real interesting that the, the mayor is going to start qualifying uh, people who bid on their, uh, their products by how they, uh, whether or not they exercise their, uh, their right to uh, lobby or or poli- uh, their politics or I, I don't know what else if he's going to get into right uh, sex and, um, <laughs> and 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 race or religion too, but uh, I, that's that's just fantastic. But it's not out of order uh, because that's exactly where these guys always go. Well, and, you know, you dealt with this in California after the uh, the ban on fifty caliber, and 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 I think you know what's sad about this, Ronnie, is. You know, what the mayor is basically saying uh, to the rank and file officers is, hey, I'm willing to jeopardize your ability to defend yourself on the job. I'm willing to jeopardize your ability to get ammunition for training. I'm willing to jeopardize all of that in order to try to score my cheap political point. That's it. Now, you know what? I, I don't think a mayor should be able to, uh, to uh, qualify uh, bidders like that. But in this case, I'd just soon he'd, he'd be exactly right. I'd just, uh, you know, but... You know, if uh, if he doesn't want to buy from us good law-abiding uh, citizens or businesses, go somewhere else. You know, I don't want to risk their people, and, and we'll see what type of violations they do on their people. If this mayor doesn't violate his, his, um, uh, his constituency, you know, we could go ahead and sell to them. You know, I... What I did in California, when they become lawbreakers, it's, it's amazing. The ATF tells me that I cannot sell to lawbreakers or criminals or the, that type of element and everything. So that's why I cut uh, California off, because it's, uh, uh, I doubt that anybody would um, say that they are not breaking or violating the Constitution by not allowing their citizens to, to have equal arms that they have. So we'll see how it goes on this. Uh, to me, if, if the, the mayor's passes some sort of bans or stuff like that, we ought to cut him off. Well, I was going to ask, I mean, you know, I, I know you're aware of what happened to the Eastern Sports and Outdoor Show where uh, Reed Exhibition said none of these uh, uh, modern sporting rifles this year, and, and eventually the show was uh, put on indefinite hiatus or canceled because of the number of sponsors and exhibitors, people who didn't have anything to do with guns who said, listen, if you guys are singling out a, a legal product here and all of a sudden you're saying, well, we don't want any, anything to do with it, well, we don't want anything to do with your show. Where do you see the, the, the industry right now? Is the industry uh, going to stand up to these mayors and say, listen, you guys are the ones putting your law enforcement officers at risk here. Uh, we, we disagree with your policies. doesn't mean we don't want to see a safer society. We just don't think that, that what you're pushing is the way to get there. But if you don't want to buy ammo or firearms from us, fine. We don't want to sell it to you. You know, if we had uh, Ben Franklin, of course, if we, what? How was it? If we don't hang together, we'll surely hang separately. Mm-hmm. And and at some point, the uh, we all have to stick to the Constitution. And and either we like this government as it was founded, and we like what our forefathers fought for, and my our grandparents and everything, or we don't like it. If we don't like it, you know, do something about it. But me personally, I like it. And and. 
And uh, and I think that uh, I'd love to see all the manufacturers stick together on things and, and say, you're a lawbreaker, California. You're a lawbreaker, New York. We're not going to sell to you. And boy, if you didn't sell them ammo, guns, blue lights, handcuffs, vests, it wouldn't be too long before their citizens would be saying, which politician got us into this mess? And and, uh, and then they would vote them out and vote some good old Americans back in there. Ronnie Barrett with Barrett Firearms. Thank you so much for coming on the show today, sir. Always a pleasure. It sure is. Nice talking to you, Ken.